my recent like research has been about like looking into like the nature of like um transitions and migration mm -hmm. yeah, um from a personal lens and also um juxtaposing that with like uh, materials and the way they move around i wanted to like be study like architecture and stuff oh, yeah. that was like yeah because i had like several like interesting design i think it was just me asking the wise at every point in time um originally i knew like i struggled at math so um, i wanted to like be study like architecture This episode with Joseph Obanovi, who is a visual artist and scholar, we discuss contemporary practice, scholarship, and arts education. Hello, Joseph. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Welcome to Hello. our studio here in Evanston, and it's nice to have you on Parallel Perspectives. Yeah, thanks. Lenny? For... Yeah, uh, learning more about your practice, but more importantly about your journey through mm -hmm. academia right your mm -hmm. background um in arts education and how that has helped you um mm -hmm. so for the first question um can you uh, just kind of give us your starting story and just you can mm -hmm. keep it short right? okay like, definitely you know yeah. um, how you started out mm -hmm. as um, a photo artist mm -hmm. um, and also your involvement in art school or your journey through art school yeah uh, thank you so much i don't know <laughs> yeah so um so i'll say like thank you for like inviting me oh, thank welcome, you uh, i feel <laughs> i don't know i feel blessed <laughs> uh so yeah my name is joseph i want to be joseph um i'm from originally from lagos nigeria and yeah that's pretty much about it i mean i studied like graphic design for my bachelor's degree in 2014 in the university of lagos and and also like for my master's degree in 2017 still like graphic design but it was more like research based than practice based but currently like in the states at the u of i um i'm in the master's program but it's, a, it's an mfa program and it's called like new media if that makes sense yeah, yeah. so very contemporary very contemporary technique like involves digital mediums and so on right yeah i mean there is that there is also like um the experimental like part of it that um makes it avant-garde in that way yeah okay uh, yeah i know installation art has uh, a lot to do with uh materiality and all that stuff and i want to find out in that context how do you you know incorporate social cultural and political uh narratives into your work based on you know what is happening now in contemporary times and also because we are using that phrase contemporary practice so okay. we need to address a lot of um contemporary questions because mm -hmm. we know that art uh questions the way society is run mm -hmm. now we look at issues like migration mm -hmm. identity mm -hmm. um economy religion mm -hmm. gender issues so how do you incorporate you know that in your work and how do you address uh, these issues oh that's an interesting question mm -hmm. so my recent my recent like research has been about like looking into like the nature of like um transitions and migration mm -hmm. yeah, um from a personal lens and also um juxtaposing that with like uh, materials and the way they move around mm -hmm. and um like why things move and then how like technology also like affects like the yeah, movement of things yeah, and yeah. stuff um so um my interest has been like examining like trip stores and second hand stores to see um to mirror like my experiences in these things and then more like questioning like why things move and yes then, yeah I don't know if you've been able to have any collaborative um, uh, engagement with artists outside of your uh, like um, primary uh, focus. Maybe I know you do a lot of um, um, like solid matter, you mm -hmm. know, but okay. like thinking about sound. Oh, okay. Have you had any collaborative uh, engagement with people like Emeko or, or trying to incorporate sound or, or those kind of um, oh. uh, uh, ephemera into your work? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, like in the past, I've tried to um, work with like ambisonic sounds and um, more like soundscapes. Yeah, yeah. Um, from like Lagos. Mm -hmm. um, I remember like during my 
I think it was during the art house residency, okay. my first residency in Lagos. I was trying to um more try to like I was trying to like explore that at that time. Um but more recently I've been also like um having visits with this very cool professor. <laughs> she's like uh she works like in the she she's in a professor she's a professor in the gender and women's studies at the University of um, Illinois. No. Their name is Bless Me. Okay. They work with like sounds, archi- archival sounds, and um, more like they make samples too. They DJ and stuff. So, oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, that's like pretty much interesting for me. Okay. But like personally, in the past, I've just explored um, soundscapes mm-hmm. from the city, city mm-hmm. of Lagos. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm curious about how your um, early educational. Okay. Trajectory, mm. <laughs> yeah, that, way, right? yeah like that makes sense. How that has developed for you over time. Mm-hmm. Um, what were the promptings? Why did you go for an MFA back in Nigeria? You know, it's even yeah. interesting that you studied like in an art school mm-hmm. because most people just pick up graphic design, online, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, and then that's all we know about. Graphic yes, design. yeah, so mm-hmm. how did you? What was that journey like into enrolling in art school? Oh, yeah. And also, um, because this program is also about power of perspectives mm-hmm. you know, for Africans, cultural practitioners oh. in Africa and in the diaspora. Yeah. Now, seeing yeah, you having that educational background back home yes. and now coming here to have that as well, mm-hmm. um, I'm, I'm thinking, what, what was that process like for you? What, oh. what gave you the prompting or interest? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I would say, like, I mean, there are several ways to like answer these questions. <clears throat> um, I feel like that's the personal, like more like intimate level, and it's also like the very responsive level. Uh, I mean, responsive. I mean, responsive in a sense that me reacting to situations and things and stuff. Um, but like, I'll just like answer it. Like, yeah, yeah so, let's uh, be real. So I think yeah the. I think it was just me asking the whys at every point in time. Um, originally, I knew like I struggled at math, so um, I wanted to like be study like architecture and stuff. Mm-hmm. That was like yeah, because I had like several like interests in design and just like the nature of like making and then organizing and then the precision in that really and stuff. But um, I mean, uh, I spoke to my brother, <laughs> which was like a mentor to me my first mentor at least. Um, and then it was like, oh yeah, you can study like visual art in University of Lagos. And then I wasn't sure of like what I wanted to at that time until um, I think my second year, I developed like interest in graphic design and more so advertising. And so I worked, um, I did that. Like I worked in the advertising space for a bit in turn and also like work uh, as an art director. After that, like I, um, I knew like I wanted something more. I knew I wanted a sustainable practice for myself. Um, so like I decided to um, make something out of that graphic design background and also advertising background into something. Um, and then I began my practice in 2018. And at that time I was still also like a um, lecturer at the University of Lagos, like assistant lecturer and stuff. But I, I found out that I do enjoy like the um, the kind of like transaction that goes on in the classroom or like the conversations that goes up in, in the classroom. And well, I really struggle with like bureaucracy and hierarchy and, and this type like of thing. In, in, like in, in, the, in the general sense, yeah. I don't do so well like we did. So, um, I mean, there were pros and cons and stuff, but like I do enjoy like teaching, impacting, because like it feels like it's never like, uh, a runway down or like top down it's always like um transactional yeah, in that sense so um uh, yeah um so i'm curious about what made that emphasis for school because some artists speak of um some artists speak of some of these skills along the line mm-hmm. and so i'm just wondering what what made that emphasis for school for you yeah, yeah. i would say research actually mm. Uh, I do pretty much I call my practice like a research right now because I feel like it's more of like uh, researching and making. If I'm thinking about long term, I do think about long term how I want to make my practices. Um, like, uh, tell, tell us. Yeah. <laughs> so like, uh, tell us. I know you've had to like do this. Yeah. Like, 
conditions. Oh yeah. Um, and so like is that like what? When you say long term, like what can one expect from your body of work or yeah. your process? Yeah, I mean, I keep on like I'll keep on like making what I want to make, but I think I'm still very much interested in like um, academia and then um, research and stuff because I feel like it's it goes hand in hand for me, at least for me. Uh, yeah. Uh, how do you see contemporary practice evolve? Where, what do you think will be the future? Yeah. You know of the practice. Yeah. Yeah. So like how I like to think about like these things are like um I think everything is linked. I don't think um the art is separated from like life or mm-hmm. life is separated from like technology and science. Yes. Yeah. So I feel like um everything is connected and then things keep like affecting. There's a cause and yeah, yeah. Um there's a cause and effect. Yeah. If that makes sense. And yeah. stuff. So um I mean the future of like technology is like, yeah it's very i would i don't know how to like describe the present day technology right now mm-hmm. but i feel like those things also like uh as just our environments directly like influence yeah. like us and yeah, what we yeah. and stuff yeah and i can see how that would like influence yeah yeah um, I, I saw this exhibition uh I, when I, I went to uh moma i saw this ai stuff you know oh, and the thing I was see. really amazing you know seeing an yeah. ai installation mm-hmm. and you know and it was really basically out of this world how we now use artificial intelligence to mm-hmm. to make art you know mm-hmm. even in voiceovers and all that stuff so mm-hmm. I, I think um there is a future there is um that boundary you know mm-hmm. there's no boundary anymore i know thank you so much joseph for <laughs> coming to our studio and we really appreciate it uh we want to ask you one last question which is you know basically uh, <laughs> i'll call it our tradition yeah who would you want to recommend to be our next guest here <laughs> on parallel perspectives anyone anyone you know your choice yeah who would you, who would you want to recommend mm. <laughs> anyone anyone yeah it could be anybody it could be anybody your oh. choice <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i don't know I would say um, my friend Kofi. Kofi, okay. Kofi, okay, okay. Uh, Where is he? Also, like um, in my program. Okay. Um, Moidras Manda. Okay, okay. Uh, Black Manda. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I can put you. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This is yet another uh, interesting edition on Parallel Perspectives mm-hmm. brought to you by the Program of African Studies at Northwestern University. We look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye and thank you.